There are so many contradictions in the Bible, but the one that I find funniest is uh, the ones to do with uh, the devil and hell and all that jazz. So apparently God is the most omnipotent, powerful, wonderful creature, thing, God, deity ever existed or um, <clears throat> invented. And no one can defeat or outsmart him, yet the devil did first by tricking Eve in um, the garden with a talking snake and you know that story so he got through through to um, Eve that way and then second the devil has his own little hell downstairs and controls it all and it just it doesn't make sense surely if God was almighty and powerful he wouldn't have to contend with the devil he just snap his fingers and he'd be gone but um apparently the devil has something special because god hasn't been able to get rid of him yet also if logic is correct which most of the time it is which is why it's logic if the devil is god's enemy and you do something devilish like like not obey the commandments or not obey all the rules in the bible or whatever bad thing you've done that makes you a bad person in god's eyes surely you are god's enemy so doesn't logic dictate that the enemy of my enemy is my friend therefore the devil will want to be great mates with you because you've done things that he really loves like you know eating babies or something that us atheists are renowned for so if you died and went to hell, wouldn't the devil just come and give you a high five and say, look, it's pretty hot down here, but we have barbecues and uh, women walking around in bikinis. So enjoy the rest of eternity. I think it's a bit like when you were little and you used to get in trouble from your parents, but then you went sent to your room as a punishment when in actual fact your room is where all your toys and books and enjoyable things are. So really, you weren't being punished, you were kind of being rewarded in a way. Uh, this seems to happen a lot in society with regards to suspending kids from school. Um, just a tip, kids don't like going to school, so by making them stay at home is not a punishment, it's actually a reward. So I just find the whole devil and being bad and going to hell and God punishing you, the devil should really reward you type thing, very illogical. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you soon, devil, because I'm definitely going there.